today we look into one of the most asked instrumentation question and that is how would you prepare an instrument data sheet because this is one of the most important documents and what are the input documents required to make a data sheet and what interface we require from other disciplines so let's look into that the first step in preparing an instrument data sheet is to freeze the format of the data sheet we could refer to international standards which is recommended like isa 20 or we could go for client formats which we can use and first we need to freeze the format of the data sheet once this is done then the interesting part starts so the second step here is to divide the data sheet so we'll divide our data sheet into four parts which is going to be the general part process mechanical and instrumentation part so first we look into the general part here the input document especially and predominantly is the pnid but what in the pnid is used to fill the general section the first step is to fill the tag number so we get to know from the pnid what is the tag number which system is it going to go which line number is it there or the equipment number etc so all the basic details are known from the pnid so the first document to make a data sheet is the pnid once we are completed with this step then the next step is to get the process data for this the process engineer would be very helpful they prepare a document called as ipds which stands for instrument process data sheet and this is the basis to fill the process section of an instrument data sheet now here you would have a question that in ipds what does it contain ipds basically contains the fluid its name properties and some special needs for example it's corrosive toxic erosive etc also it will have the minimum normal and maximum conditions of the pressure and the temperature that the particular instrument will have to face also you would have to get the design conditions for example the design pressure and temperature now what is this difference between design conditions is that the design conditions are something which the instrument would experience at very low intervals or at very extreme intervals maybe during the startup of a plant but won't be regularly exposed to that now we look into the next section which is the mechanical section this is a very interesting and important section where we get a document called as piping material specification that we'll have to use to make such things now a lot of people have this question that why is it so important and how do instrument engineers usually select their material so imagine that this is our instrument put in a pipe which has the fluid flowing through it now if you would notice that the same fluid which is flowing through the pipe is going to flow through our instrument so here if we take our example that the piping has the material carbon steel so our instrument could have something which is same or higher than that which could be for example stainless steel because the same fluid is going to flow through our instrument however if the piping material is hastaloy which is c276 for example then we cannot take ss316 we'll have to take a material which is either the same or higher which is usually preferred so for such case piping material spec becomes very important document which is called as pms in short and it also helps us to understand that what is the trim material so for example if the piping valve which is a normal manual wall would have a particular trim then our instrument automatic valve could also have the same trim material also what various standards like NACE that the piping is going to our certification we are instrumentation engineers also would have to ask the same certification now i would like to share something with you that i produce a new video every saturday so if you're liking this video please subscribe so that you can receive a new video every saturday now i also would like to share that now what is the part related to the instrument which will try to break it into three parts which is the instrument itself its amazing accessories and the notes section so for the first part which is what is the part of the instrument itself this includes for example the own components of the instrument let's take an example of pressure gauge so here the accuracy of the instrument what is the range what is the body material and especially what are the end connections is it a threaded connections or a flange connection etc but this varies if it's a control wall it could have certain other details like what is the calculated cv the trim material seat material the seat tra stem, stem travel etc so this varies from instrument to instrument which we will freeze in the form type 
The second thing is the accessories. So for example, for a pressure gauge, you might require something like a siphon or you might require snubber, which is used if there is pulsating uh, discharge happening in the line uh, in the discharge of the pump for example or in control wall you might require a gauge so it depends on instrument to instrument what accessories would be required other than that what is the next thing that comes is in the instrument itself you might have certain details which you would not be able to cover in the form so we have the note section what happens here is in the note section for example we can say note one refers to a particular standard like NACE certification required etc or what client standard it should refer to the second thing is the tag plate details so sometimes in the note the tag plate details are given or the third thing is some special service for that particular instrument like hydrogen service where you require gold plating I've made a separate video on that so you could refer such cases where you know you can mention in the note section such cases also I've written a free ebook on PIP standards. It's an amazing standards which are just having 10 to 15 pages. So very easy to learn. And there have been almost 2000 plus downloads of this ebook and com engineers from companies like Shell, Dow, Technip have found it very valuable. So I think you would like this ebook. It's completely free. The link is given in the description below. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe and especially press bell icon. We'll meet next Saturday. Till then, happy learning.